standing here at the actionhub.tv stand at the old Mutual Two Oceans Expo, and I've got with me Steve Atwell of Embark. He's a professional coach, and he's been involved with the Team Tri-Action um, group of um, runners that will be doing their first half marathon. Steve, tell us about the group. Um, well, they're actually going on to run a full marathon. So tomorrow is the Two Oceans will be their first half, and in uh, the middle of July they'll be running the, the nice and a full marathon, and that's what we're training for currently. Uh, the, the group is made up of five girls. They were all selected through uh, a questionnaire which they had to motivate on, and we've chosen the five girls from that. The criteria were that they had to they have to be beginner runners, and they can't have been they can only have run up to 10k. So we don't want girls that have run over 10k's before. Um, so yeah, I've been training these girls from from basically a scratch level. Um, as I said, tomorrow is their first half, and they're going on to run the full. What made you guys choose Nyasna? Because that's quite a tough marathon. Yeah, I think it was the time, the perfect timing. They wanted six months to run this campaign for Tri-Action and uh, they asked me and they said, what's the minimum amount of time that you could say that people could run a marathon in, people from beginners, with almost no base. I still don't think, you know, six months is enough time and I don't think beginners should be trying it uncoached anyway, but, you know, we've started the program really slowly and the girls have, have really eased into it and that's why we've chosen these certain goals along the way to the full marathon. What kind of training have the girls been doing? I take it they've done a lot of hill work to get themselves ready for Southern Cross Drive? Yeah, we've done, you know, we're mixing it up. We're training specifically for the Nice Marathon, so it is a harder marathon. It's one of the harder marathons to do. There are a lot of hills, it's a lot of, um, well, those are off-road running, it's a lot on the Jeep track and through the forest as well. So we've been mixing it up, we've been doing a little bit of speed work, we've been doing a lot of hill work, a lot of strength work, and we're getting them into the gym for injury prevention as well. And we're just doing a lot of social running as well, you know, we're trying to keep this fun. It is a fun campaign that we're running for six months and the girls are gelling quite well together now, which is really nice. So, it's, uh, yeah, we're mixing up the training a lot. Do you know if the girls are planning to run together tomorrow or they're all going to be doing their own thing? No, I've um, said for tomorrow they can run as they want. You know, there's a couple of girls that are quite a lot quicker than the other girls, and I always feel that when you're running longer distance races, it's better to get into your own stride and your own rhythm. So the girls, there are two girls that will pair up together, and then the other four will start off together and see how they go throughout the race. Well, best of luck with your group, and I hope they all come flying through to the finish. Thanks.